Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I know you have been looking forward to this because I have been looking forward to building it. This is the Lego Friends Heart Lake City Resort. So it's a hotel, so it's a beach hotel. It's a resort hotel next to the beach in Heart Lake City. And look, it's got a monorail, <laughs> a monorail. This is so much fun. All right, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna build it. We're gonna see how it all works and we're gonna have fun with it. Let's see how many bags we've got. We've got a lot of bags. There's three, there's extra parts, five. Oh, look, little, little wind sally things. Oh, monorail rail pieces, six, seven. We got seven bags and a mighty big book which is very beautifully secured there in the plastic, a big sheet of stickers and our big instruction book. All right, let's meet the mini dolls that come in here. We have got Andrea with some really cute little beach sandals. They are new and that's exciting. And check out her top, a lovely beachy resort. Oh, top and look, there's detail on the back. Oh, this is just the most exciting thing ever. All of the characters get life jackets because they're going to be doing some water activities because it's a resort right next to the beach. So there's of course fun water activities. I'm just going to take that off for now because I just want to see her new top. It's so lovely. And of course, we'll put the life jackets back on when we do beach activities, because safety first, really important. Now, we've got Andrea. We've also got Olivia. She's got some little sandals on. She's also got a new top. Look, I can see her belly button. She's got a little abbreviated resort top. Her face looks slightly different to the dolls that were released at the beginning of the year. I think they might have been tweaked a little bit, so I'm going to have to do a comparison. But her hair looks the same. Look at the detail on the back of that top too. So cool that the detail goes all the way round to the back. That makes me so happy. Okay, Olivia's over here with Andrea and our third friend's mini doll. She's got some little white, they look like slippers, they're sandals or thongs on here. And she's got a cute little swimsuit too that also goes all the way around to the back. <laughs> Having the best time. Face definitely looks tweaked. I think there's more eyelashes. I, and the eyes I think might be a bit bigger and her mouth might be a little bit bigger. Maybe they look a little more in proportion than they did when they were first released. So I'm definitely gonna check that out. Now, there's also a boy in here. This is Mason, he's got some sandals on. He is totally cash and resort ready. In fact, he's the first mini doll to have a naked torso. <laughs> Look at that, he, he, he's gonna be running this resort only half clothed, <laughs> but he's ready to go out swimming. I just hope that he has slathered sunscreen all over himself as he's not wearing a sun shirt. All right, we have four mini dolls who are resort ready and excited. Oh, but speaking of excited, I almost forgot to introduce Sheen the dolphin who hangs around the resort, loves, loves playing with the guests. She just loves it there. So all the characters have been introduced for this particular set. So let's start building. First part is a wind surfer which is this cute little vinyl sail. It's very colorful, very pretty. And we just need a T-bar, obviously, to set it up and hold it in its shape. And we need a board. And Stephanie is ready to take it for its maiden voyage. Round she goes, although oh, she's not very good at guiding that. She has run into both Mason and Sheen. So we might not put her in charge of this little speedboat. We might just keep her on the windsurfer and see if she can get control of that. We might put Mason in control of the speedboat when we eventually get it built <laughs> because this is not just a simple speedboat. You can make it a speedboat if you want to, but it's actually designed for a really fun resort style, beach resort style activity. So let's get it built and then we're gonna see what it does. It's really, really cute. And we've got the first of the stickers. There's a dolphin, it must be Sheen. This is Sheen's resort after all. There's dolphins on everything, so it must belong to Sheen. <laughs> now this cute little device here is actually a seat for the activity, the fun, fun wind and beach activity. There's this little sailing type thing is designed for, it's actually a parasail. So they can go parasailing, look at that. Andrea's gonna try it out. They can go parasailing out in front of the resort. It's one of the cool resort activities. So if we attach this to the boat like so, check it out. Oh, almost forgot the steering wheel. That would have been quite a hazard. <laughs> so all the way up there is Andrea in the sky. 
Oh, that's really cool. We can't make it come down behind the boat, but we can kind of angle it up the top. And there's a little notch here where we can actually put the life jackets on. So that's, we're gonna need them. We are gonna need them very soon. All right, we've done the extraneous pieces. Now we get to start building the actual resort. And the first floor is designed to be detachable. It's either going to sit right at the very top of the Heart Lake City Resort, or you can take it off and put it down on the beach for beach parties. And I'll show you why we need it for beach parties. <laughs> what do you need at a beach party, apart from a beach and people to come to the party? Well, you need music. So we're going to put together a whole DJ stand here for Andrea, look at this. So she can mix her, mix tune things. <laughs> she can mix her music and she can be the DJ for the, for the cool resort parties. We've got a, a, ra a record on there and a red and a green button. I'm assuming there for stop and go. And there's the needle for the record and we're ready. We just put it here on the little table and over here is a spot to put her headphones. Have you seen these new headphones? They actually fit, though they look huge, but they actually fit on the mini dolls heads, which is very exciting. So Andrea is also very excited because now she can do some really cool funky tunes and she can be in charge of the music for the parties. Look at that. <laughs> and not only does she have music for the parties, but she's got lights. Check them out, little laser lights, like disco balls on a stick. <laughs> Colorful disco balls on a stick. <laughs> That's so cute. And because obviously we are at the beach, we need some palm leaves for decoration. And they go over here and over here and we can kind of angle them however we like so that they look really cool. There we go. We're ready for a party. In fact, in fact, Olivia has started the party and Stephanie's joined in and they're having dance and we're up to bag number two. <laughs> we'll just leave them dancing for a couple of minutes. Oh, look, Sheen's joined in the party and we'll start the next part of the resort. Oh, it looks like we are starting with some place or well, some place to prepare food. So we've got a taco on one side, a pizza on the other side. <laughs> They're both being heated up in the oven at the same time. And there's a pan on the top. So this is going to be the kitchen. This is going to be where they can actually get their food made while they're at the resort. On this sticker, we have got some bowls and some seasonings and maybe even some jam. Strawberry jam, yum. And an oven mitt and a spatula on this one. It's a pretty, pretty aqua blue or mint brick pattern on those stickers. And here we have got a nice big section of wall with some connectors, which we're gonna be using for connecting some more of the resort as we go along. And we seem to have, oh, a fridge maybe in, oh, for ice cream. All very important when you're at the hot beach is that you can have lots of yummy, cool ice things. And there's a tabletop there by the look of it. And on this sticker, we have got, we've got, yeah, we know now that this is a place to come and eat. And there's a hot dog up here ready to go. And there's the ice cream that Olivia ordered. There you go. You can start eating that while we keep building. So that's like, it's like a little kiosk. What's so cute? She can just stand in the archway and be perfectly framed there. That's so small. So that is the kitchen. Here's the doorway out into the actual restaurant area. Very, very small area, which is fine. It's got everything in it that you need. Now we need to connect all those wall pieces together so they don't fall apart. And our next sticker has got our price list for toasty sandwiches and looks like fruit punch type things, none of which we seem to be preparing in the kitchen yet at all. I wonder how much hot dogs and ice creams are. That's not on the list. <laughs> mm. Actually, I'm surprised there's no smoothie maker in here or fresh fruit. That would be kind of what I'd expect at a beach resort. Uh, maybe that'll come later. All right, we have got a chair and a very cute little area there, which looks like an entryway into the restaurant. Maybe here's another chair and these little chair cushions get really oh, <laughs> little palm leaf stickers. Well, they're pretty. Oh, okay. So this is where our table's going to be. Speaking of which, 
let's put the table together. And on the tabletop is, is a tip <laughs> for the server and some food beautifully laid out already and some tropical drinks with fancy garnishes, very important. Well, they look delicious. And who ordered the taco? I think it was Andrea ordered the taco so they can sit here and have a meal at their little resort restaurant while we start building up on the next level. So that's cute. That's the kitchen and the restaurant. And now on this hinged piece, we're going to make a connecting piece of wall so that our resort can angle. So it's not just one big flat building. So these little holes are going to attach to the connector here. I've just knocked Andrea off her seat. <laughs> she's so full of tacos, she didn't even notice. She's having a marvelous time at the resort. And this piece here was left over at the end of the bag, so I missed putting it on, so that's where it belongs. And now we are up to bag number three, and we've done pretty well already. So, new bag, new floor, or are we gonna continue going on the second floor? Let's check it out. Looks like we are putting putting some bath pieces on here. That looks like a little bath puff and some bath thingies, you know. Oh look, the taps are shells. That is the tiniest shower I've ever seen. In fact, I don't know that they're going to actually fit in there. <laughs> this is a teeny tiny living space. <laughs> All right, so there's a shower in that room and it's also going to get a, oh, a bed. An orange and white striped bed. So that goes in this little alcove here. Wow, that is, that is a small space, but it's got just enough room for one mini doll. No sharing in <laughs> this room, there's not enough room. This is not a share room, this is a single room. Got the shower head on and we have got a nice big window so that'll make it not feel too claustrophobic. And we've got, oh, look at this pretty sticker, except that sticker is not Oh, it's really pretty, but it's not quite centered. I can't stand that. I've got to fix it. <laughs> there we are. Just had to move it over just a little bit more than I expected. A little tiny balcony. Mm, yeah, a faux balcony out there because that you can't actually get out onto the balcony. And a picture, a hotel room picture. One of those generic pictures that are just cheerful and colorful to go into the hotel room. Oh my goodness, her feet jut right up against that wall. <laughs> <laughs> that is small. But, I mean, honestly, how much time is she going to spend in her room? She's going to be outside doing all the fun activities. So this place is just for sleeping and getting clean, getting all refreshed, ready to go out and do some more fun things. Look, here's the door. <laughs> Teeny tiny room. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so cutie pie. All right. We have got our first little hotel room. And... What is this? There's no more room in that room to actually fit anything else. <laughs> We're not going to try and put this in here. Oh no, no, no. It's the monorail sign. Monorail. It's a monorail. Oh, and it goes here. So the monorail must stop right outside Stephanie's room's door. Stephanie's room's room's door. Yeah, that's right. All right. Now we get another one of these bath stickers. Shower stickers. Don't know why I call it a bath sticker. It's not a bath. There is no room in these rooms for a shower. Olivia's going to show us <laughs> that she can just fit into this room just. And it looks like we're going to be creating an almost identical room, but this one is themed in purple. <laughs> it's got purple striped bedspread instead of the orange striped bedspread. Just enough room for a mini doll. And yes, it is all looking identical. Let's get this sticker on right the first time. There. Identical to the one below it? Yes. So this one's going to be stacked on top of the other one. It's cute. Oh, not quite identical. A different picture on the wall. So this one's got a flamingo. You have the flamingo room, the purple flamingo room for Olivia. And her doll has got a purple doorknob too. The purple room. That's <laughs> so cute. All right. It stacks on top of here. It's not designed to be a t detachable. So it's going, where does this go? I don't know yet. It's gonna go in the resort, obviously, but I don't know whether we've built the part of the resort where it actually fits.
I'm not sure what this is. It looks like it might just be decoration. Definitely decoration. Look at that. That's a nice roundy top for this part of the hotel. And a big shell with, oh, with a dolphin. With Sheen. Sheen, the city resort hotel's mascot. That's what I'm saying anyway. So that goes absolute on the tippy top there above the little rooms. And they all go here on top of the kitchen. And that other little part that we built before is just kind of a little balconette where they can, looks like that's where they're going to meet the monorail. All right, bag number four. <laughs> this resort's starting to take shape. There's still so much to see. Okay, another room. This time, maybe a bit bigger. Maybe this will be a deluxe room for apartment where a couple of people can come and stay. Oh, that's a nice big window. Oh, it goes on an angle. Oh, this is much bigger than the other rooms. I, I don't think that this is going to be a big luxury room for staying in. I think this is going to be a common area. Let's find out what its function is. It might be a lounge room. There's our matching angled window on the other. Oh, it's not. It's the front entryway, obviously. So this is going to go slap bang in the middle of our resort. I'm assuming down the bottom because we've got, got some very big doors down there. That's cute. Look at that. That's very inviting. And you'll be able to let so much sunlight in and the breeze in when you open those big doors up. Okay, what happens inside? Oh, we got another one of these connector walls. So we'll find out how this connects to the rest in a moment. Nice big long roof parts here, which I'm trying not to bend. And some greenery up, up here on the roof. Oh, it's pretty. And some hooks, some hooks to hang things, logically, because that's what you use hooks for. Oh, hooks to hang some keys on. These are going to be the apartment keys or your room keys. So this is the lobby or this is where you check in. This is my guess that, well, that's, that's an obvious guess really, because if this is the first room you walk into, that's where you're going to actually come and get your key <laughs> in the lobby. Okay, here's our very fancy looking lobby desk in gold and smoked black glass. And on the tabletop is, oh, is our check-in computer with all of the information that the concierge is going to need. Now that's straight, that makes me a little happier. And over here is a nice big phone to take bookings and to order taxis. Oh, ring the ambulance when somebody falls off the parasail. No, that's not going to happen. So there's the check-in desk. It's ready. And we've got our suitcase. This one has got five cents in it. That's not going to get you very far, but it's a start. Oh, look at this, a brand new bag. So sunglasses, this is actually a little bit deeper than the ordinary suitcase. This is a bag on wheels. Oh, it's way too tall to actually use on the wheels. So she's just going to drag it behind her and the wheels aren't going to touch the ground at all. That's <laughs> the thought that counts. That's cool. It's a nice big suitcase for proper holidaying. That's really cool. That's brand new. <laughs> that is exciting. All right, we have an awning now over the front entryway. And this looks like we're going to have some more palm leaves, little palm trees, no palm leaves, palm planty things to just set off the sides there of the front entrance and another one of these little hinged wall pieces to connect parts to other parts. <laughs> I don't know which parts here, this part here. Lovely. Oh, it goes over here with the restaurant on that side. So this is, like I said, it was going to be slap bang in the middle. So the lobby is right in the middle. There's plenty of room to still build things on the top. And we've got the whole other side to do. And we're up to bag number five. We haven't done the monorail. We haven't done the slide park yet. We've got half of the resort still to go. So make sure you join me for the next video. There's just too much to fit in one. It'll be up very, very soon, I promise. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell and you'll get told when a new video goes up so you don't miss it. <laughs> I'll see you with the rest of this build very soon. Bye.